Living hockey history, the Crimson of Harvard, the 112th team, getting ready for its only game this year in Ithaca. Waiting are the Big Red of Cornell, the 84th edition, about to face the visitors from Cambridge for the 140th time. From Lina Rink on the campus of Cornell University, NBC Sports Network here for the one they always have circled on their calendars, number 17, Harvard, against number 10, Cornell. In the preseason polls of the ECAC, 12 teams, number one was ranked Union, number two, Cornell, number three, Harvard. Forget what Ryan O'Neill said years ago in Love Story. <laughs> Ain't any of that here. Can Ali McGraw come and sit with us? <laughs> it is Birch to start. They would if you could get down there and work it from the icing line, but it's tough to get down there against this big Cornell team just like that. Very tough to get down low. Oh, Regan saw McNally fire one, and it ricocheted off the post. Right out to the front of Adelon and nicely tucked ahead, and here comes Greiner. Might be a two-on-one. He's got a man moving up the ice with him. That's Falstrom. Got it to him. Backhander. He's gone. He's raising his stick as if it did. I thought I saw it headed across the line. But at any rate, no light came on. Play did not stop. And I look ashamed. Has Bardro behind. Centering pass. Esposito can't get it home. Rebound back out in front. Another shot. And that one is covered by Gerard. I don't think there's a lack of intensity from anybody here. See the good first man pressure. There's the second man pressure. Turning the chance. Over for a chance around the front. Rising shot and a goal. And this time it will go. We talk about the first man pressure. Watch Everson come down hard on Ryan. And then the read and react by McNally. He comes in, keeps the play alive. He doesn't cash. But Falstrom does. That's outstanding. That's just. Tremendous hockey by the Harvard Princeton to make it one nothing here at Lina. Centering pass taken by Lowry, chugs back the other way. And they were talking about Sidney Crosby's sister. As a drive from the right side finds its way in. And it is a tie game. What a ripper. Also defended away pretty well by Jacob McDonald. Twirled on now by O'Regan. Led one on for Seward. He's gone. What a shot from the slot by Mike Seward. They're not going to like this on the Cornell side of things. It's a cycle chance into a slot area chance. And look how slow number nine, Christian Hilbrich, is closing the gap right there. That's too much time, too much space, and a bad read and react. Three goals scored. Some close calls. But there is one from Falstrom. And then one long one that tied it at one before one last try made this a Harvard lead on the road thanks to Seward 2-1. And it's blocked on back across for Falstrom yet again. And a steal and a breakaway for Esposito. Left, shoots. Oh, and that one wouldn't go. To D'Agostino. One of the tri-captains gave it up to Vesey. Moving on in. Set it up. Score! What a rocket on the setup to Chris Kulo. And it is 3-1 in favor of Harvard. Connor Morrison hard on the four check. Turnover, VC capitalized. This little fake right there freezes everybody. And then it's a yawning cage for Chris Kulo. But what a play by VC. Excellent four check by Morrison. And a 3-1 lead for Harvard with 2.17 to go in the second period. There were close plays. There were big hits in the second. And until that one was pumped home by Chris Kulo, no one had scored. 3-1 after two, the Crimson. Tried to center, could not. Pokes away at it. And up with it is Piega. Lofts it on out to center. Plotchek moving ahead. The net is empty. He's taken down the puck off the outside of the cage. And we will have a goal. Or was he clearly bought? They're going to talk right now. The officials are going to talk into an empty net on that kind of a play. Usually you see a goal yeah. awarded. There you go. It's a goal. What a play by Danny Biega on his backhand. Puts it out to Petr Placek, the Philadelphia Flyer draft pick. There you see the outstretched Agostino. And that's into a yawning cage, and they're going to award the goal there. Final score in the game, the Harvard Crimson 4. The Big Red of Cornell 1. Placek.
Chris Kulo, Seward, and Falstrom, the goal scorers for the Crimson tonight. And Nisley, the only goal scored for the Big Red.